Hi, I'm Chris Leader. I'm the president of Leaders Edge Training, and I want to welcome you to our monthly video tips. Please feel free to send them on to anybody on your contact management system. I know you and your friends are really going to enjoy them. Hi, I'm with Amy Flowers from the Amy Flowers Real Estate Team in Milton, Ontario. I'm really excited to be sitting here with Amy today. Amy's one of the top real estate agents in the country, ranked in the top 50 actually, uh, closing consecutively year after year over a million dollars in real estate commissions. Uh, last year alone, 165 transactions on the west side of Toronto with an average sale price north of $400,000. So this is somebody who does a lot of business and uh, what I really wanted to talk to Amy about today was branding and marketing. Can you tell us a little bit about why you adopted that philosophy right off, right from the get-go? Back in the beginning of, the, of my career, I knew that I wanted exceptional results. I looked around and saw what everybody else was doing and there was no branding to be seen. Everybody would have a little house and a little head and a little house and a little head. That, that wasn't branding. From past experience, I knew branding was so important to create a business, to create a presence. And so that's why I adopted it to start. Now, one of the questions I get asked all of the time is in, in my classes that I teach is how much money should somebody or what percentage of their income should be allocated from their gross revenue to be used initially to get their marketing program started? What should they be looking at on a, say on an annual basis percentage wise? For us, our, our percentage is 25%. And I use that as a, as a good benchmark because it's my goal to create a very large market presence. One of the things that comes up in my class all the time is hiring professionals. Mm -hmm. And one of the mistakes I see in the real estate industry often is people uh, either don't do any marketing or branding or when they do it, they often try to do it themselves, sort of a, the, the equivalent of a for sale by owner. Sure. Uh, you know, they think they can do this thing on their own. Is that something you adopted or did you go out and actually hire a professional to do it? I don't profess to be an expert in that industry at all. I know how to sell houses. Uh, I don't know how to uh, create a brand. So I went out and sourced the top people in the industry who were able to do the branding and I paid them to do it. They created our entire brand straight from our um, direct marketing pieces to our image to our cars to our website all across the board. Everything was consistent. That's the next thing I wanted to ask you about is the consistency in the actual campaigns. So do you believe that having a consistent approach to everything in the marketplace adds value? Absolutely. Uh, when we first started before we adopted this um, uh, branding, I looked at our pieces, our, our marketing, our image. I took one piece of everything that we did and I put it on a poster board and I put it up on the wall. And then once we've adopted this new um, branding, I took a piece of everything that I had just purchased and I put it together and put it up on the wall. And I looked at the two and I was just, it was in awe. This side over here, it was a joke. Like that's not what a true professional looks like. And then I look over here and thought that is what, that's the image, that's who I am. How did you choose the demographic? How did you choose the price range? What were the, what was the criteria? Well, I think it's kind of like choosing a real estate agent. You really have to put a lot of time and effort into it. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to go here. We spent a lot of time learning about the different areas. Um, at the time, I was 25 years old, um, and I wanted to be in an area that was very similar to who I was, people that I related to. So our t the townhouse community that where I lived is where I first started. It was a total of 500 houses and I started in that neighborhood. Um, I would go and bring out our branding. I would go and knock on the doors, make phone calls, get out there and people knew who I was. I want to take this opportunity to thank Amy for coming in today. Uh, it's been my honor to be sitting with one of Canada's top real estate agents and the fact that you would take a few minutes and share with some of the other agents in the industry what made you successful just demonstrates the quality and the depth of your character and I can't say thank you enough. Thanks Chris, it was a pleasure to be here.